How's it going guys? Jerry here. So I wanted to put together the special video today uh, because something spectacular had happened this morning. Um, so to give a little preface of uh, what happened that led to this day, let's rewind it back to October 13th of 2010, okay? I stayed home. My dad and his girlfriend went to Owasso and um, they witnessed an accident in Owasso at the corner of Oliver Street and M uh, M52. <clears throat> and um, my dad, he, because he, he was in the, you know, he was driving and he witnessed the accident. A semi had blew a red light, hit a car, and a young lady was in there with her daughter in the back seat. And uh, my dad got out of the car, he, he parked in the lane, blocked traffic, Got out of the car, ran up to the, or got out of his vehicle, ran up to the car, <clears throat> and um, the little girl in the back seat had to be taken to Memorial Healthcare, which is the hospital in Owasso. She had to be treated for uh, lacerations from uh, flying debris of glass and things like that. And my dad didn't want the little girl to be in the hospital by herself. And so my dad went to the hospital, he sat with that little girl got her coloring books and talked with her and kept her occupied. <clears throat> and uh, she was scared. The little girl was scared because she wanted her mom. And my dad, being a witness to the accident, he went to the hospital, sat with this little girl. He was, you know, at bedside with her, talking with her. And he got her coloring books and all that stuff and kept her mind off of what was going on. And while all of this was happening, the little girl's mom had to be literally cut out of the vehicle. Um, and ever since that happened, the mother has been trying to find my dad to personally thank him. And this morning, <clears throat> 12 years and three days after the fact, she messaged me because she did what's called a FOIA request where she had gotten information from the phone call that my dad made. <clears throat> and, um, she was able to find out who made the call, uh, which officer was on call for that specific time and moment when my dad had called in and gave the information. <clears throat> and uh, so the, the little girl's mom had messaged me on Facebook this morning. And at first I was a little apprehensive because I wasn't sure if it was a scammer because I've dealt with a few of those uh, on Facebook. But she was true and legitimate. I kind of asked a little you know a couple questions I probed into it a little bit just to make sure that it wasn't a scam and sure enough it wasn't she sent me a picture of my dad sitting at bedside next to that little girl <clears throat> and my dad has now been reigned as a hero for having been there for that woman and her daughter and um, now we're all friends on Facebook <clears throat> I'm friends with her mom and my dad's friends with her mom as well. And this weekend, we are going to be meeting up here in Chesning somewhere. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to, you know, talk about things, hang out a little bit. And I wanted to make this video for that reason, just to kind of talk about um, how much I love my dad, how much of an inspiration he's always been to me. I aspire to be like him, even though I'm an adult now. I still, uh, I still aspire to be like my father, and I, I always try to mimic and mirror his his behaviors and, and his gestures. <clears throat> and um, I'm just so proud of my dad. Dad, I love you. You've always been an inspiration to me. And 12 years and three days after the fact of this of this uh, accident occurring. I find out that this woman wanted to find my dad. She was searching for my dad so she could personally thank him. This coming weekend, we're gonna meet up and we're probably gonna have pictures taken. We're probably gonna enjoy lunch together. I don't know what's really going on this weekend, but <clears throat> the plans are that we're gonna meet up on Saturday. And so I wanted to make this video just to say that uh, my dad is one of a kind. And after all these years, the fact that this woman still wants to meet my dad and to personally thank him and, and to, you know, 
give them star treatment, which my dad is not on board with, by the way. My dad doesn't want to be hailed as a hero or anything like that, although he is. Um, that's just who we are. I learned that from my dad. Um, everything good, all the good deeds and gestures that I do for other people, including here on this channel, doing the shout out videos and such. I know that's my dad and my grandpa working through me. So um, that's what we try to do. We just try to help people. We don't see ourselves as heroes or anything like that. But we are human beings and we try to be human in the moment when someone is in need of help and uh, <clears throat> and that particular day in that particular moment they were in need of help and my dad was there and everybody else was driving by didn't want anything to do with it my dad didn't leave them abandoned um, <clears throat> he actually stuck around for the little girl and uh, it's just a reminder too that you know it doesn't matter what you do in life. You can do anything smallest, anything big, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of the gesture. It always makes a difference. Don't be afraid to get out there and to help people. You see someone in need of help. If you have the, the resources to help pay it, uh, pay it forward and to help a person in need, do that. Even if you don't have the resources, you could just, you know, just you being there for somebody else can make all the difference in the world, man. And uh, I have never felt more inspired as I had this morning when I received the message from the little girl's mom. Um, and, and she was telling me about what my dad had done. And I think that's worth mentioning and it's very admirable to say the least. Um, but anyway, guys... If anything can be learned from this, the thing is you can make a difference as well. Get out there and do it. I love you all very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for being subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.